it's Sunday morning, I'm in a muddy field. It's officially the start of the boot sale season 2024. I've never already been to one this year, but this marks the start. Muddy field, early Sunday morning, no tarmac and later morning starts. This is proper boot sale season. Usually this one has started like sort of middle of March, start of March sometimes, depending on the weather. Obviously we're only a week away till the end of March. And um, you can tell there's been a bit of a delay because there's a queue to get in already. Here, it's just gone six. Already been in the queue five minutes. So people can't wait to get here. There's not normally a queue at this time, normally straight in. But yeah, people are desperate. I'm hoping to get some real cool stuff. Nice and expensive for nice and cheap. Hopefully not too much longer now. And let's get hunting. Right, we're going in. It's looking tiny, but Hoping more sellers come along. Usually the first week, it does start small and then it's gross on there. But yeah, something's it's gonna be a bit bigger. Hopefully it grows throughout the morning. Editor George here, literally just seen this and I don't know what happened on the morning, but I remember seeing this Ikea lamp. I've sold it before many times with the shade, can go, go for like 35 to 50 quid. I remember seeing it and I couldn't see the shade. It's in my hand. Look at this, go on eBay, look it up, nearest first, guess what I see? In Chelmsford, oh look, 55 pound free postage is highly likely to be the lamp that's in my hand. And here we go, scroll down, they're from Chelmsford. Jace! Look, got another bag. Jace, got another bag. Oh, Jace, got another You scared off all the sellers? Oh, mate, how you doing? <laughs> you right? Got some jumpers, head bakers, wraps. Oh. <laughs> I don't How much are on jumpers here? There's four altogether. Uh, there's 12, 10 pound each and three pound. Okay, that's fine. It's looking for holes and stuff like that. You do two pounds for that one then? The brown one? Yeah, yeah two pounds. Yeah. From that one? If there you go. have two pounds. I have two pounds, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm prepared. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, one, two, there you go. Oh, Oops. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank Cheers. Go. First pickup of the morning, two quid for a Ralph. Not bad. Kickers, that's cool. Uh, the boots. They were tenner. Ten, okay. Bit of glue there going on. Ten pound crack, oh look at that. Bit of cracking, no good. That's soon fall off. People get wet feet. See the smaller the boots are, the bigger the competition. Like high concentration in a small amount of bits and bobs. Beating up Reeboks. Ooh, Reebok pumps, pump action. Look very worn again. There's the other one. Size four, does it say the year? I don't know, very warm. Don't know if I'm, uh, even the toes are a bit scraped. Look a bit beat, a bit beat, a bit too beat for me. Found some football shirts. Doubt they're real. If they are real, how much? See this one, Arsenal. New. Tags, made in England. It's cool. Pretty sure that's not real though. When it's through the tag like that, I'm pretty sure that is not real. Here's another one. Adidas, long sleeve, JVC. I'm a crispy vintage looking tag. Yeah. No, damn it. I'm guessing that all, what's this one? UEFA Champions League final 20, 2006 versus Arsenal. When they beat us. Yeah, there's the tag through the thing. Mm. No. There's a, this year's kit with the tag, no. Damn it. Not having much luck this morning so far. Still early days. How much on the bows? About £45, mate. 45 Okay, yeah. It's a tune around the CD. 
Okay. Just yeah, it's fine, yeah, it's fine. This is a touch yeah. one as well, you just touch the top, it comes on. Oh really? Oh cool. Yeah. Would 30 buy it? That's yeah, enough one? Yeah? yeah? Okay. Deal. How about your shoes down there, brown ones? Them ones are 25. Okay. And you said Paul Smith one. Yeah. So I just Black take that off, you know? Yeah, well. You go boss ones. Oh, boss ones, yeah. So right, there's 10, 30. Lovely. That's great, thank you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wasn't expecting it. Just mate, difficult to take it. I thought he was going to come back at me with 40 or something. I'll just say no, but he accepted 30 straight away. So, Bose with the remote CD and tuner, touch top for 30 quid. I actually don't know how much they're worth for this sort of offered 30, thinking he might not take it, but he did, and now I've got it. What's that? And this, is that Burberry? No, it's right. A bit of research needed, and hopefully it works. And being very particular with electronics this year. So got my new unit, got whatnot going with clothing, so I can't just pick up VHSs for five, turn it into 20. I'm not in that game anymore. And I said it here now, because I'm about to pick one up probably, and turn it into 20. Then um, DVD. How much on the Denon? 15? Yeah. Okay. Take 12? No? Okay. The world has been found. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might come back for it then. Okay. I'll go around. It's alright, no worries. Canon calculator. How much on? 50p, alright. There you go, I'll take that one for now. Yeah. <laughs> Warm up. That's my like it, 50p, so 15. There you go. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Uh, I'll look up the Denon. Denon DVD 700. Let's have a little look. Denon DVD 700. So they're selling it for £15. Buy it now, used. And there's eight available. And they're all remote controls. No actual units, so no competition. None sold. Is that right? Oh yeah. We've got to go to the um, desktop site of eBay. Go to the research tab. This will go back on two years worth of results. There we go. So £11 as an auction. £36. New unused. Oh, new unused, bloody hell. Yeah, we'll give that one a miss. Normally Denon stuff, even though it's a DVD player or CD player, tends to go well still. But luckily, I've just done that. Thank you, Terra Peak, for going back two years. Not worth it then. I'll leave that one where it is. It's cool. Oh, um, pound. How much are the prints here? <clears throat> uh, Fiver for the pair. Okay. They're cool. I'll take them. Yeah. These, yeah. I don't know if they're proper, but they're cool. Fiver. There you go. Lovely. All right, thank Cheers, you. Brother. Cheers. Thank you. All right, taking a punt here. Thanks. Taking a punt. This could well be printed off at home, put in a standard black frame. There's someone looking at them, so if I didn't buy them, someone else would. I think I'm going to pop back to the car, actually, because we've got a couple of bits to research. The bows and these prints that <laughs> could well just be printed at home. Never mind. Fiver. Let's see. All right. Drop them off. Round two. See what we can get. So far, very happy with what we picked up. Did a bit more research into the Chanel, and yeah, they look proper, like you could buy them. So yeah, my five pounds for two should be very safe. That's cool. How much on the dinosaur figures? Pound. Pound, cool. Make sure there's no chips. That's cool. Um, there's a pound for this one. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right, thank you. Cheers. Papo, 2005. Really nice detailed T-Rex, similar to the Jurassic Park T-Rex. You can see what it's worth, but um, this might be going to the boy, Lenny. You know, it's a bit, that tail's a bit. Very sturdy, well made, not just a cheapie, so 
We'll see. I'd rather pass it with Amy first, see if it's safe enough for Lenny. But if not, then we'll go on eBay. I'm not sure how much for, but it's a nice detailed thing. I just paid a quid. What's this here? Yeah, boys club. Vivian Westwoods. Polo. Oh, she's there. Oh, I've done these couple of bits here. Uh, not a bike. They're all different bikes because obviously some of it's designer. Okay. Um, I do both them. That I wanted a tenner for the Vivian Westwood one, but I'm doing okay. both. I'm doing both for 15. Okay. 15. Mm. And a little bit less, really. We do 12 for them two together. I do 13. 13? Yeah. yeah, deal. Can I have the aim? Yeah, of course, yeah. Right, so there's 13. And there's your two hangers there. Wait, um, it's the last time one. Yeah, <laughs> I had to lose some mine as well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Brilliant, top man. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, mate. See ya. Again, okay, painting up a little bit. Being a boys club and uh, Vivian Westwood, smaller sizes, but even if they're not on whatnot straight away, on eBay, tidy profit. No Grinsons, good to see. But they seem very small. It's Quite a bit of wear. Bit of damage. Yeah. yeah, some scratches and stuff. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. You know it's a good brand. Made in England. Oh look at that. Completely scuffed. No. Damn it. Colour go. Oh it's on a golf jacket. Uh all the golf jackets are free sweet. Okay. Colourway Golf. Orange colour. We do three for two on the jackets. Got three there. Uh, yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, there you go. There's six there. Lovely job. Three for two. It's a two pound each. Not bad. Callaway Golf jackets. Short sleeves. Perfect for spring. Golf season has started as well as boot sale season. And done, all spent up. Had just a bit of shrapnel left, a few pound coins. But um, yeah, I went around the last time. I still got half a IKEA bag full. So obviously I didn't film that bit, but yeah, it's just so good to be back in the boot sale field. I do like the break from sort of November, December, January, but then February, March, I'm itching to get out. Just fed up of the dark, cold, gray weather. Nice blue sky, bit cold, bit windy, but yeah, so, so good. Good for the store, good for the mindset. Just out in the field, finding absolute bangers. Gonna go back to the new unit now, hopefully, that's the plan. I'll show you what I did pick up, what I bought it for, what I'm hoping to sell it for, and where I'm planning to sell it. There we go. See you back at the new unit. It's back home now. It's uh, it's not Sunday, it's not Monday. It's Thursday, Thursday afternoon now. Just been so busy with the new unit, trying to do YouTube, do work. The, um, the boot sale stuff's had to wait till now, but let's get inside the new unit. There's a couple of updates. Let's show you the rest of the stuff that I bought on that Sunday morning. If you remember from last video, there was just a single pendant in the middle. Uh, it lit up the room, but not enough for what I wanted, like to do YouTube videos, whatnot shows, photography, with potentially no lights. My electrician came early, had a cancellation. So, shut the door. Bang, there we go. Two strip lights, LEDs. Uh, we was gonna have two in the middle, one, two. This one down here for the whatnot shows on YouTube. They was gonna have the second one obviously parallel or in line with this one. But if I'm picturing here, obviously he knows what I do and I explained what I wanted to do. But he suggested moving it just to here because obviously if it's here and I'm standing here, like above me here, my head's gonna cause more of a shadow onto my photography area. So he suggested to move it here, which is absolutely fine. And it's flooding it with light. I don't need any ring lights at all, really. Maybe one, but I've got my temporary uh, b paper blinds up at the moment. Need to get them, that's the next thing I need to do. Be really, really happy with how the lighting's turned out. Yeah, we'll see, it's not in line, but that's my photography one, bang. That's the the video one, so yeah. And it obviously lights up the whole of the unit, so really happy with how that's turned out. So Sunday stuff, I've kept separately in a separate box. So I'm gonna lay it all out on my table and I'll show you more what I picked up when I put my camera in the car that you didn't see. So let me quickly set up and then I'll show you. So here is everything I bought from that Sunday morning. 
obviously stuff you've seen and then stuff you haven't seen. So you've got T-Rex you saw, one pound, absolute bargain. 50p, Canon, sort of vintage style calculator. No frills, like a tenner. Saw the Bose, 30 quid. This should be, and it's working, I have powered it on. I haven't put a CD or anything in, but it does power on. It's got the remote, and it's got this extra like stand thing. Um, yeah, 30 quid, even this main unit on its own, not working, 40 quid. So my money is safe even when it's not working. So yeah, buy electronics like they're broken, so you don't lose too much money. I can sell that on its own as well if it's broken, and then the stand on its own. So absolute guaranteed money there, even if not working. I saw these pictures in the video, matching Chanel number no. five Paris. They are Fairchild Paris, French edition. But I wasn't sure if they were printed off, but yeah, I found them. I don't know what to list them at. It cost me a fiver. Um, in good condition, this needs a bit of, like, there's a bit of sticky glue there. But yeah, list them, sell them together, mm, uh, 40, 45 maybe, not too sure. But yeah, again, guaranteed profit anyway. Uh, you saw the Ralph as well. Just, that was the first buy of the day. Bought this from a subscriber actually. Uh, nice corduroy, made in England. Uh, what was the brand? It's Danny Mac, made in Great Britain, but 100% cotton. Dry clean only, but it's really, really nice. Don't know if I can show it properly. In fact, hang on, I've got a bloody rail here. Come on, let's make use of the rail. <laughs> let's hang it up for you. So it obviously needs an iron, <laughs> but yeah, really nice vintage, made in Great Britain, corduroy jacket, two pound, absolute bargain for a vintage made in Britain jacket. Pockets, a bit like a chore jacket. Yeah, nice color, nice bit of corduroy, and two pound. Absolute bargain for that one. You saw these two briefly, got Billionaire Boys Club, uh, like zip up hoodie, really, really nice. Size small men's, but yeah, nice fit cotton. Yeah, like a basic black. Two of these for 13 pounds, so six pound 50 each. Vivian Westwood with the orb, extra small men's as well. So I did want it to be bigger, but yeah, Vivian Westwood and a Billionaire's Boy Club for 6.50 each. Yeah, well worth a risk. Like I said in the video, it might not end up on whatnot straight away. So obviously I've had to pay a bit more. Whatnot is very much selling at wholesale prices. So I've got to try and buy it cheaper than wholesale. So it's very difficult. It's making it work for now. But yeah, very, very difficult. But something like this where I've had to pay 650. Yeah, maybe not straight away. Put it on eBay for a month or two maybe. And then, uh, oh look, that's cool. Little astronaut hit. But yeah, I could do it straight away. If I make a small profit, go out again on Sunday with my profits but um yeah with this sort of thing paying a little bit more 650 yeah probably put it on the bay first put into the clothing section there we go already get, getting full got this late on as well i think this was the last buy of the day angel care like a baby monitor that detects movement and then lets you know if there's no movement within the cot like the baby cot that's electronics that can go in the electronics section how cool is this i got to a house clearance place uh, with the loot and van just unloading unloading got these asics like really good condition hardly worn I had to pay a fiver on them I tried to get them down but he wasn't having it um but yeah five pound for them asics should fetch that like, 25 quid to 30 quid maximum so a bit run of the mill there but then I went over this was full of clothes and ties and stuff look at it vintage yeah, I don't know if this video would do it justice, but vintage head, like duffel bag, like gym bag, embroidery there. It's like all that, all like the uh, handles. There's a shoulder, there you go, shoulder strap as well. That is just so, so cool. So yeah, fiver on them. This bag was full, so I was emptying it because um, I did ask if it was for sale and it was. So I just had to empty it, but never ignore ties. As the luxury pickers say, don't ignore ties. So I was looking and looking and looking. I found these two. Done a deal. These three items, so the bag and two ties for two pound. After I had to spend five pound on one pair of trainers, I've got this wicked uh, bag and these two ties for two pounds. I haven't even shown you the ties yet. Really nice, 100% silk, red and uh, navy. There is a name for this. It's gone off the top of my head. But the brand, here we go. Paco Rabanne of Paris, made in Italy. 100% silk, in nice clean condition, two pound in the bundle. So even if we said that's a pound, these are 50p each. Yeah, even if that's two pound, these were basically free because I wish you was gonna say two quid for that anyway. Sort of devalued the ties. It's a Paco Rabanne, 100% silk tie in there. And another really nice, sort of similar 
type design, but this one's a like a blue, like a greeny design. Really, really cool. Vintage Polo Ralph tie. Not seen a Ralphie tie before, not a vintage one anyway. But again, in the same bundle. Yeah, like I said, this bag was full of ties and random clothes. I had a quick sneak peek. There's all the usual suspects like tie rack and St. Michael's. But yeah, saw this one first, pack of Raban, put it to one side, and then literally underneath it, a bit of vintage Ralph. Absolutely amazing. Price wise, they can be slower sellers on eBay. Um, again, could put them on whatnot because they owe me practically nothing or pennies. So yeah, I'm not, I haven't decided yet. Again, I've got so much stock. It's not even in here. There's stock for another three shows worth and whatnot. So I'm not in a rush. So I could, again, put them on eBay online, see if they get snapped up quick for a higher price, or if not, put them on whatnot. Start at a quid, see how they get on. They owe me nothing. They're really cool, really good condition. So should be a guaranteed money maker. The last two, I've paid up on this one because I fell in love with it. I really want to keep it. Let me show you. I recognize this jacket. I think it was marked up at 30 pounds before. I think when I went to a boot sale and I only had 50 quid with me. Uh, yeah, I think it was marked up at 30. There was a 25 pound sticker on it or tag, but I got this for 20. So, so cool size medium but I'm a large it fits me Timberland Pro Series like workwear chore jacket look at that absolutely amazing it's 20 quid um yeah I was happy to pay 20 quid screaming like Carhartt like work in progress Carhartt but this one yeah you go vintage Timberland Pro Series I think it's 90s from doing a quick bit of research but yeah, the typical two front pockets at the front here and two at the top this one's uh, buttoned just yeah proper really heavy like cotton like rugged workwear with the cuffs oh it's so nice nice brown it's literally a carhartt but vintage timberland jacket so so cool i really really want to keep it obviously like i said i paid 20 quid for it again whatnot is so unpredictable i could put this on whatnot it might get quite a lot of hype because it does look very carhartt like his 90s it's timberland it ticks all the boxes but i've paid 20 quid if I was to put it on, oh, there you go, Polar Tech as well, like a uh, North Face. It's like a fleece inliner, really, really cool. Yeah, if I was to put this on eBay, I'm asking like 80 to 100 quid. I don't care if it didn't sell, because I would get to keep it for a bit. Um, but again, what not? Doing the whole one pound start, so I might not do that forever, but at the moment we're doing one pound start, so what would that fetch? That's the thing, again, selling at wholesale prices at the moment, it seems, while it's still in the early stages. I'd like to think they would get at least 40 quid on whatnot. But again, it's so unpredictable. If It's brutal as well. Doing one pound starts on whatnot, brutal. If the people aren't too interested, it will sell cheap. Or it won't sell. I've sold everything so far. I've never had a non-sale. But yeah, if it's not interesting, if it's not right, it's brutal. The people, the watchers, the viewers will let you know. Whew. It can be brutal. But it's been really good so far for me. This is a very tough one to work out being a seller then the same deal this he upsold me i didn't see it but i was gonna buy it anyway another timbland don't know if it's part of the same series i think it's a bit newer this one but like a canvasy like messenger bag again i really want to keep this it's a backpack for the gopro at boot sales at the moment it's quite clunky i'm thinking of potentially swapping out i'm gonna show you do a little try on thinking of keeping this one put the gopro on the messenger bag because it's not so chunky, like a big, like it's not even a big backpack, but it still feels quite clunky. Yeah, put this on, put the GoPro sort of here, because I usually have it on my backpack, so it's here anyway. Sort of attach it here. I can have some spare change or whatever. So yeah, I'm not sure, not sure. Might might be a keeper, but yeah, I spent five pounds on this one. Uh, again, listing it on the eBay Depot, 20, 25 quid. And again, what not, who knows? One pound starts, it's madness. So for a first, Boot sale, proper boot sale, six o'clock in the morning on a field. I should be there at five really when they proper start, but I can't get out of bed any earlier than quarter past five, it seems. So it's good to be back. Really good haul, really happy with what I found. Bring on this weekend.